Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not a devil. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American war was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang travel in my head so I can come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping in a camp, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that the last one? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just... First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. People will read something into anything these days. Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price, but groups of men get greedy. A valued resource, an old oriental gentleman I know, has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. Tony, Tony, be a real man. Stand up for yourself. Don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son. And I want her to show that she cares for me. Show that she loves me. And, you know, say I was a good kid. It seems like nothing's ever good enough for her. You know what I mean? What do I do? Well, Toad, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bounce. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory. This is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. You want the chainsaw, Pogo? Be sure. You want the chainsaw, Pogo? Yeah, you the chainsaw, Pogo? Man, eh? You big, top Yankee boy. Be sorry. I need a scale, gringo. You move, big man. Chainsaw, gringo. You're gonna be sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thigh size, it's on me stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called Biorhythmic Subconscious Gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. You That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEPOFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. Peter. No, he got taken off the air. He lied, I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are loving our kids' minds. My son saw a few got hit by a truck, and he said, Mommy, Mommy, we're going to that like, It's these games. He thinks life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Mommy. It is very, very serious. I let my kids play video games, and now runs around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go chase money. My little Sam's been playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You're just like all the rats. How's that? Fluoride right, is evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush your foot today? I have read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tetris, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. Concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox.
In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural Selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the Chatter line and tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitude. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude too if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy swirls at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? We're all the same, giant. Oh, I'm so... I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff.
thank you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the Port Authority seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. for commuters from Shoreside, engineers have finally managed to repair the damaged mechanism on the Staunton Lift Bridge and it is now open to traffic flow both to and from Shoreside Vale. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Now, thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology, it absolutely... Life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it uh, says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Lazar. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Uh, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Lazar, it is a miracle. A blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage life. For my people, marriage is, you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother it is made in heaven and in the Don't you know what I mean? Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies, and... She must also be a whore, a vixen in the bedroom, imaginative, exotic. Cause he's good. The big difference. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, last one. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed, but for his bed, he needs something else. Starts flirting with the stairs. This is between songs. Some uses for the office furniture. Exactly, last one. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A woman, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save you. <laughs> My marriage doesn't mean saving. Hey, do anyone mention it? Oh, and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo. Listen very closely. Marriage is a gift. It's a present from a book. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife, not fat or early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrummy brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking marriage bank. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant? We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act under fantasy for your little secretary with his wrist started? Pretty eyes and uh, the killer. They're smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. 
but you more likely your marriage is wrong. Or die. You want the chainsaw, Gringo? You gonna be sorry. You want the chainsaw, Gringo? You gonna be sorry. You move, big man. You want the chainsaw, Gringo? Let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it badly enough, so it must be worth something. Who the hell? You! Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring your heart out into that gutter! Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We are friends. Don't here, be such take a this. pussy! Hey, we got no choice, baby. You always got a choice, you dumb bastard. I'm sorry about the crazy bitch, man. They, they're all the same, please. Por favor. So, the whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza! Liar! We all saw the cartel assassin. We are going to hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. I'll be operating on our friend here to extract information uh, and uh. a little pleasure. You, drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your services. Please, amigo! Uh, don't leave me here with her, man. She's she's psycho, chico, man. Please, amigo. Hey, hey, amigo, amigo. Ah, ah. I'm bored. We're gonna get you out of here. Dog next to me. Thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. Ain't easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo. You're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing, he's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus with a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He'd come in, he is like a broken man. Like a... You are proving to be a safe investment, a rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save me. 
a beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he's not make you happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, last one. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for me. called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? Too happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if you're not happy, send it to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. I think spanking kids is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He once hit me so hard my sleeve fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now. I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, vermin than you can imagine, and I love it. Such a great country, I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had to beat me. That's... What are you talking about? Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's a. Carrier pigeons and they keep disappearing. 
What are you speaking to me on? What's, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are. And you're perpetuating the downfall. <laughs> Liar. liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar, Lazo's a liar. I said that it's even your real name. Shut up. Who oh, shut up? Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Suit your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything. Oh, no. Probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rickin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rickin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to be... Bro, if you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love the junior, the pinky, meat berry, the thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. Okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? No, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners all the while wishing you were... A lesson in business, my friend. If you have a unique commodity, the world and his wife will try to wrestle it from your grasp, even if they have little understanding as to its true value. SWAT teams have cordoned off the area around my associate in the package. Get over there, pick up the van, and act as a decoy. Keep them busy, and he should make good his escape. Chainmail! And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the Internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. W what about them? Close. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Close, Laszlo. I hate him. I just hate him. Wait, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone station. But why don't you like close? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line we're closed, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess a lion has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it says you say a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked. All units be on look at the secure time trying to the area. Suspected armed and dangerous. Free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I get so good. What about winter? What do you mean? 
You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the dirt? Uh, look, it's just leading anywhere because I mean we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, lads. Well, you can get in your head to a into it. We have one member now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are used to the real have distinctive advantages, like, like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about success. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Other rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged to the fastest growing U.S. run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast. Why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller, what's your name? Bob, Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gum, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. Well, the pretty crowd is fine, ain't they? I guess it seems that way. But I got a real simple solution. Shut it down. Shut down the school. Shut down the problems. No more dead people. No more angry people. Well, but you don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. Well, not mine, Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I've learned to hit the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. Three taught how to clean bathrooms. Everyone should have their kids serving. Soccer, football, and lacrosse practice. 